Hello, my name is Julia Kedward, and I am going to be walking you through a video that explains how to handle inbound and outbound calling from the VIP7 application. So as you see here on our screen, we have the uh, main window for VIP7. It's called different things. It just depends on your personal preference, main screen, home window. But it's the launch pad for everything that you do in VIP. And in here, there are many, many different ways that you can place an outbound phone call. So I'm going to just walk through these one by one, not necessarily in any order of importance, but just so you can see how everything works. So here we have your voicemails. If you click on this and you have a list of voicemails, recordings, recycle bin, essentially anything that has a um, name or not even so much a name, but a phone number, you can simply, I'm sorry, let me go back to that. If you just double click on that entry, you can place a phone call to that station. And since these are actually kind of personal numbers, I, I'll choose something else to show you how to dial out from there. Um, but again, if it has a phone number, just select it or select and then double click and it will automatically place that call out to that person. So let's go back one, which takes us back to the home screen, contacts, obviously a place that you can make phone calls to and from. So any of the contacts you have in here, stations, departments, all the different mailboxes that we've talked about in some of the other videos, the simplest way to make a phone call is, for example, George. Um, these are all by the way, I have in here programmed all fake phone numbers, so it's not really going to dial out. But to give you an example, I have over here a business cell phone and home phone for George. And I want to call him on his cell phone because maybe I know he's out today. So all I do is double click on that and it automatically places a call to his phone number. And you'll see here that it switches over to what we call the active call screen. Now, it's not dialing through, obviously, so I'm going to go ahead and press end, which is over here, and it takes me back to the contact screen. Now, if George would have answered, um, you would have seen the window, you would have seen this window change so that um, it shows that you're actually connected to him, okay? So I'm going to press end again. And if I wanted to, I could actually go over to my um, desktop phone itself and press the release key. Or I happen to be on speakerphone making that call, but I could pick up the handset at that time. Whatever, you can use them interchangeably because... Um, because we're not using soft phone in this example, the calls that you're making are all going over your ESI desktop phone. Now, if you were using a soft phone, the audio is coming in and out of your PC, so you'd um, definitely want to have um, an appropriate headset so that you can listen and speak um, for those phone calls. Okay, so same thing here on stations. If I wanted to call this station number, I would just double click on it and um, Actually, I'm going to go ahead and hang up because I don't want to bother him. But again, you, you go over here and you dial that number and it calls them. So over here on call log, now again, this was discussed in a previous video, but uh, we consider a call log almost like a type of contact list, which is why you see the call log tab present with all of your contact tabs. So if we click over on here, you'll see that you know, there's various phone calls that I've made. These are all outbound phone calls. But again, if you, you know, if it's handy that, oh, I know I just talked to this person. I don't want to go look them up in my contact list. I'm just going to come over here and double click on that. And boom, it, it starts placing the phone call. All right, press end. All right, so um, I clicked. So I was in here. I was in the call screen or call log. And I went up here to home to get back, or if I wanted to, I could choose the back button because the last place I was was on my home screen. All right, so again, I could go directly to, oh, there's a text message from Chris. I'm going to go ahead and close that because um, he was the person that I prank called just a minute ago. Um, if I go over here to call log and actually click on that, it jumps straight to my call log 
but again if let's say that I'm in my call log and it's like you know I swear I just called this person today but maybe I didn't I got confused and I need to look up their contact there's no reason to go back home and then open the contacts I can just come right over here in this window and look for the contact here so just makes it a little easier okay where else can you place a call all right the quick contact list um, I'm sure will be a very popular place to make a phone call and this is somewhat similar to how the contacts tab in contacts works it's just the only difference is here it's in your quick contact list so for example Annie so for example Annie is over here uh, in I just put my phone in D&D because somebody was calling me so um, that's why you saw that pop up there but Annie here is in my quick contact list and I have a business and a mobile number for her so same thing if I want to call her mobile number all I need to do is double click on the icon and and that phone and, and then it would go through again it, it's a, a not a valid phone number so it's not going to go through but you can do the same thing all the way down this list for any of the numbers now for stations so as an example here's Arnold I just populated him on my quick contact list from the station list so he doesn't have a business phone cell number all that kind of stuff but he does have a station and the station is always represented by the oval and the oval changes colors um, like it is here Bryce he's in D&D &D or do not disturb uh, I'm not sure anyone I have is on the phone but it would be red if somebody were on the phone so here if I wanted to call Arnold at his extension I would just double click on the oval and it would place a call to him okay and I could also if I wanted to right click on a certain um, contact entry in here and say dial that extension um, and it would dial his number or it would dial Becky's number if I had a lot of numbers programmed like Bob and I right click it would say do you want to dial one of these so I can double click on the icon here or I can right click and choose something from the right click menu okay uh, one of the other places is in the text messaging let me scoot my window over a little bit and again we talk about this in the texting or instant messaging video but even though this is primarily used to actually send an instant message to a fellow VIP user you can actually use it to call out so like here Kimberly I can actually click on this and call her extension at 2077 um, and it works just like if I were calling off of my desktop phone it's very very simple and when I do that my um, home screen over here would change to my active call screen to show that you know I'm talking to Kimberly at 2077 and it'll have the countdown or the duration timer to show how long I've been on the call those calls um, actually those calls aren't in here in the call log I'm sorry because it's only CO numbers anyway but it it works just the same as dialing out of your phone okay um, the other place uh, easy keys so easy keys is um, an array of virtual DSS buttons and you have actually six pages of these and we're actually on the second page so let's go back to the first I can either click on this uh, little square or I can go back doesn't really matter um, and here is an example of the type of people and things that I have programmed on my DSS keys and all these people here um, that are orange they're all in D&D &D or off-premise and then if I were if one of them were off hook like somebody just went off hook on seal line one then it shows red because it's busy alright so that's just a, an additional tip there but again this is just like pressing the physical DSS button that you have on your phone you would just double click on whatever button it is you want to dial and it places that call so if I double clicked on shipping it's going to place a call to the shipping department if I place a call to um, accounting it's going to go to accounting and so on and so forth okay um, all right so let's go back home and I want to say this is the last place that you can call from and in this field if you if you look at the um, contacts 
video, or actually, I'm sorry, the quick contact list video. It talks about all the things here in the quick contact list, and it also talks about this field. And this field actually has two purposes. One, it's a search field, so I can go in here and type somebody's information in, like I'm looking for Mark, and I start out with M-A-R, it filters any kind of contact information um, that I have uh, to show me what matches M-A-R, and so without having to, you know, go through here and necessarily scroll to find Mark or go to my contacts and scroll and find Mark, I can simply go up here and type this in and boom, there he is, and I double click and I place a, a call to his station, okay? Now the other thing that it does is you can actually use this as a um, a dial a dial field. So using your keyboard of your PC, I can go in here and type in a number. Um, so let's say we're going to call, let's call something generic like FedEx. So there are 1-800, oops, 800-G-O. And notice that as I'm typing the number, even the number is searched on within the application. So I have FedEx already saved in here and it's finding it. It's pulling it up as you see right here. But let's finish typing it in. 1-800-46-MVDEX. Um, okay. And so that's their phone number and I press enter on my keyboard and then you can see here it starts to place a phone call to them. And then I'm going to go ahead and disconnect. But what I could do is if I were typing in that number and I see FedEx here, I don't have to finish typing it. I could just double click. Oops, I'm sorry. Let's go back home. I could actually double click on the icon. You've got to remember that clicking on the name in the quick contact list opens up their profile so that you can make edits to it. You can't actually dial. You can't not actually dial from the profile. So let's go home. And let's clear this field by clicking on either this clear icon or I can simply highlight it and press delete. Either way it works. And those are all the various ways that you can place a phone call. Now, if you are a soft phone user, first of all, you can use you can still use your dial pad on your keyboard on you know like your laptop, but you also have a dial pad down here from which you can place uh, phone numbers. See, so as you're placing as you're dialing the numbers, they go out just as if you were dialing on your phone. And I'm going to go ahead and clear that and end that. Okay. Um, same thing goes for if you're dialing a phone number and you reach an auto attendant like your bank, for example. You know, press one for sales, um, two for account balance, whatever. Um, you can use your dial pad, the keys on your phone, or your keyboard to enter those digits. Now, when a call comes in, when somebody's actually calling you, um, the screen here is going to change. Two things are going to happen. One is you're going to get a pop-up down here that says who is calling you. The second thing is you're going to get some information up here of the caller ID just in this status area. If you want to accept that call, this icon here actually turns to answer and you would click on that and answer. Or you could pick up the handset on your phone or you could click the button on your headset just like you would with any other call. And then once you've actually answered the phone call, the main part of the screen changes to that active call screen. All right, so there you go though. That's, the, that's pretty much the basics on accepting and receiving phone calls. And that's it for now. Thank you for your attention.